guys um so i haven't really done a video in a while it's only been a week it's been six days i think but i haven't really done a full-on simrod video um that's because not a lot has been happening <laughs> i've literally maintained i'm still the 12 stone 13 um and nothing has changed at all um I'm bending down because I'm not sure how much I am in shot. I feel like it could be this tall, but I feel like I'm still in shot. I don't know if you can actually see me. Um, I'm going out tonight, so that's why I'm dressed. Otherwise, obviously, <laughs> I'm not normally dressed. Um, but, um, yeah, so I'm okay about me maintaining. I'm not really bothered about it. But I think because um, I've been doing extra easy now for the last, I can't even think when I started next easy, but I literally, I have not really lost on extra easy. Um, I last time I did extra easy, I got to a point where I literally I was just like, but constantly like not going constantly like a pound up, pound down, pound up, pound down all the time. So that's why I started doing green. Um, so I think I'm gonna do green again because obviously I can still use my meat as my healthy extra, and. I prefer green, I find it easy, in my head green is just like simple, whereas extra easy in my head is just like bomb, it's like a blur, big explosion of like confusing, confusion, 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 can't say it, just you know what I mean, um, so I think I just, I just can't get my head around extra easy, I don't get it, I don't get it, so I'm going to do green again, and hopefully I will start losing weight again, and it will just go bam, and also, what also I'm going to do is, I started today, I'm always starting things, but I am just get so, I'm one of these people that literally, my intention span is literally like the click of a finger, I'm just like, I get distracted, I forget, I ha literally have to set alarms for everything, I have an alarm to remind me to go get Riley from school, like, that is how bad I am at remembering everything, I am so bad, I'm so forgetful, I literally forget, I would forget my mum always jokes that I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. I literally, the amount of times, like, I've left things in two months. I've left my phone in a trolley before, like, and not even once. That's a couple of times. I've left my handbag at a till in the supermarket. I'm just, I have to write everything down. I, that's why I'm putting around lists. My phone is, like, packed with a list because I can't remember things. So, like... When it comes to like planning to do stuff and like thinking, oh yeah, every week I'm gonna do this on this day, I'm gonna do this workout, or I'm gonna do this many this blah blah. I have to set myself alarms, and as stupid as it sounds, but otherwise I can't remember to do things. And um, oh my phone is full of alarms, so um, yeah, basically <laughs> I'm an idiot basically. I'm a bit stupid because I can't even remember simple things like going to the shop I literally have to write things down on my hand or write a list down on my phone otherwise I'll get to the shop and be like what am I here for why am I here no 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 what do I need to do um so I'm going back to green because I remember green extra easy is just so complicated for me um yeah really that like now I just can't remember what I was gonna say um my memory is like a sieve. Uh, but so I'm gonna do extra. I'm gonna do green. My oh, boiler's about turned on. I think oh, it's just turned off. Um, because I can have meat. Obviously, I can have cheese. I can still have cheese. I can do everything I want. And it's in my head. It's just easier to cook green. Um, I find it so much easier. I don't feel like I'm missing out on things, which sounds stupid. Um, but I I like being able to have um like cereal for breakfast and then cheese for dinner or something like that or like I could still have tuna I could still have chicken I can still do stuff like that and I can enjoy it and I just find it for me it's just easy for me it's just in my head I think it's because it's like it's best for me but I need to get my exercise down I need to get into a routine of and stick to it and do it something that I enjoy so I've started the biggest loser like it's called the six week plan it's the blue it's a blue DVD and um, it's got like quite a few programs on it and they're not that long they're all about 
45 minutes to an hour and I did one today and I feel shattered right now I'm so tired my body's just tired I feel good tired not like bad tired um but I, feel, I felt it working and I feel I don't know I just feel positive because I really like the guy and the girl I don't know what their names are at all I should do probably but I don't know what their names are but I really like them and he, I love watching him because <laughs> he is very very fit um him he's nice to look at so it helps when your person you're doing exercises is nice to look at that's why I love about aquafit because the guys that do aquafit are really really gorgeous so when I'm there I'm like just staring at them and I'm getting I'm doing exercise um so that, that's always a plus um and also my brother wants me to go boxing with him so I'm like I'm not sure whether I want to do that yet he really wants me to and I'd like to but it's not the sort of thing I would enjoy so I don't know if I'd do it or want to keep doing it if I don't enjoy it but obviously I've never done it um, I used to do Taekwondo when I was younger and I absolutely loved that. I so loved Taekwondo. But I used to hate doing the, um, I can't remember what it's called now, like where you have to go and, t like sort of not an exam, but do like a physical exam to get up to the next grade. I really didn't like doing that. Because um, I'm not very good at exams. I'm not very good at doing stuff like that. I'm not, I'm more of a practical person. Um, stuff like, stupidly, like driving was I found that so easy but the theory part of driving just I couldn't get my head around it I literally couldn't get my head around it and my brothers the, my my brothers both of them are completely opposite they found the practical hard and the theory really easy and I literally I don't know why I just can't get my head around certain things so um <laughs> But I apologise for my hair, by the way. I'm literally... I know. I know what it looks like. I know it looks horrible. Um, I don't know what I'm going for right now. It's just a poop on my head. A pile of poop. Um, I've just got roots. I've got really bad roots up here. I've got really rad... Rad? Rad, rad roots. It's an American. I've got really bad roots up here. I've just got really bad roots everywhere. And I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm currently in the middle of trying to strip it. And I kind of want to strip it without using any chemicals or bleach or really, I don't know why I said chemicals and bleach, but like, do you know what I mean? Without actually like full on stripping it, I just sort of want to try and light it. So I've been using like, it has lighted a lot, especially today because I left, um, I got the sauce mint shower gel and I put it all in my hair and I left it on my hair for about half an hour trying to soak in. And then when I washed it out, these end bits really, really faded. So it's really working and I kind of want to get it cut but I'm not sure yet because I'm really fussy with who cuts my hair I've had my hair cut once since 2008 and that was last year I just hacked it off um which is when I started these videos like my hair was short and before that I did have quite long hair and obviously the reason I hacked it off was because I had like I had like glue in extensions and I literally just ripped them out which obviously ripped my hair out, which meant I had like patches at the back. So to combat it not looking stupid and like horrible with like long scraggly hair, I sort of chopped it off really short. So um, it's taken a while to grow. So yes. Yeah, so I, anyway, back to the one. I want to do more exercise. I want to get it into my plan and get it into my life because. Um, because I've lost the weight, not all of it, obviously I've got another three stone that I want to lose, in my head I want to lose another three stone, but um, because I've lost so much so far, and I haven't really done a lot of exercise that I'm finding currently, my body a bit saggy, and, well not mega saggy, but like, it's not as toned as I'd like it to be, like, my arms and stuff are like, as wobbly, and obviously I'd like them to be more, like, tighter I, I wouldn't want like really tight arms or anything like that but like just more so I feel more okay more okay more okay I feel better about going out without tops on and my main area is my stomach like I really want to turn my stomach this part I'm quite happy with this part it's not so good my boobs aren't the best but 
I just think uh, there's not a lot I can do about my boobs really. They're just there, unless I went and got a boob job, which I'm obviously not going to do. Um, but yeah, I really, I want to lose more weight just because I'm really, I'm finding like my knees really bad again. Um, if you don't know, I had operations on my knees and um, when I was 18 and um, I need to lose the weight to basically make them better, I guess, and make it easy for them. And like things, certain things I find really hard, like when I walk a lot, it does really, really hurt. Or if I stand up for a long time, I do get really painful joints and stuff. And like things like um, straightening my leg fully is quite painful. And like um, just sometimes I find it difficult to straighten my leg. Like when I'm doing aquafit and he's like put your legs like forward and stuff I do find it quite hard um because my legs just don't bend like that anymore um and there are certain things like I, I struggle to do I can't think what it's called but when you're like this with your leg and you're holding up to stretch I struggle to do that because my leg literally just does not bend that way as much as it used to so obviously that's not good and obviously I need to lose the weight to make it more mobile and obviously as Tracy knows, I've been having a problem with my um, hip and the doctor's given me some exercises to do and I've got to go back in six weeks time from when I went to the doctors and see if it helps to strengthen it because obviously I've got really bad joints and stuff and um, I'm quite worried about it because my dad has arthritis since he was probably only 10 years older than me but I am now and obviously I've been having problems since I was probably about 16 with my knees and with my joints and stuff. I have carpal tunnel in my ri both wrists. I have really painful fingers and toes. Currently, I accident well I didn't accidentally, I don't know how it happened, but I my, sometimes my toes come out and when I get them back in they're just painful. And my big toe on my right foot right now is so sore. Um... So I'm trying not to stand on it, which is really annoying, because my bad knee is the left knee. So it's like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. But I'm not very good <laughs> with my joints. I sound like a poor old man. Old man. Old woman. I'm literally like, my joints are really bad. Um, and it's really starting to be really painful. Um, I feel like I'm going to cry, but I'm not going to just get that feeling. You know, I don't know what it is, but you sometimes feel like you're like welling up. I don't really know why. But yeah, so my fingers are really sore and like if I don't move them a lot, like I'm constantly like moving them because if I just left them like this, or like sometimes I wake in the morning and my fingers are like, so painful. So I don't know why I'm telling you this to be fair. But the reason I'm really losing a lot of trying to lose weight is because of my knees. I need to lose it. Um I really do need to lose it more than I want to lose obviously I want to lose it and I really would love to lose it but I know for my health and stuff I need to lose it um so I feel like I need to do more exercise to try and strengthen my body as well as um it will obviously help my body get better if I was a lot more fit and I'm not very fit um really I'm not I'm not, I wouldn't class myself as like unfit, but I, I, I'm not going to get out there and just go do like a, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, so I need to do strength exercise really, so that's why I like about the biggest loser, because it's like cardio and then it's strength, so, and I need the strength, but I need to be out, build up strength in my body, especially my legs and like my arms and stuff, because things like... If I, if I have to carry Riley, it's so painful. Like, I can't do it for long. I literally cannot carry him like a normal mum on my hip for lo a long period of time. I probably, I could probably do it for five minutes and then I'd have to put him down because I'd, it'd be so painful. Which is why I, I carry him on my shoulders a lot of the time. If I have to carry him for a long period of time or for any reason why I have to carry him, he will be on my shoulders because... Physically, I literally can't carry him, which does my head in. Um, but yeah, so 
I really need to do it. I need to kick up the bum, really. I need... I don't know. My friend Nancy's obviously come back from uni, so I'm hoping we will go out and do a lot more exercise together because a lot of my friends work constantly, like, from, like, 9 to 5 or, like... Well, not 9 to 5. None of my friends work 9 to 5. But they work, like, all day. So it's hard, whereas she works... She's, like, in a bar job at the moment, so she's more flexible. So I'm hoping we'll be able to go out and do a lot more things and try and do a lot more exercise and just getting fit and like some of my other friends want to do stuff as well and um so I really need to do that and I want to find some things I can do with Riley that he will enjoy um I was I bought a oh, what's it called this bike seat to go on my back so I've got a bike and he's too big for it he doesn't fit in it he's too big so, I physically couldn't ride my bike with him in it because he's, he's too big. Um, it looks like it's snowing. I'll show you, but I know it just takes too long. My tree outside is all like the petal. It must be a little windy. I'm falling off and they're white and it's all pretty. It looks like it's snowing. It looks really nice. Um, it's like in Friends when, um, I think, I don't know. No, actually. I think it's Phoebe getting married like falling down like that it's really pretty um so just need to get back on it i need to do green really i'm going out tonight and today i've been quite strict on what i've eaten just because i'm i feel like an idiot because it's it's now quarter to eight i'm going out for ten o'clock and i feel like i should have eaten by now because I'm going to make food and I'm just going to feel really crap and bloated or I'm going to feel sick. So I'm not really sure what to do. I don't know what I've got. We've, I, well, I made spaghetti bolognese, like a corn spaghetti bolognese, um, yesterday to have tonight. But I completely forgot I was going out tonight and Riley was at my mum's. So it's sort of just sitting in the fridge. So I might have some of that, like a tiny portion, because I am hungry. And I don't want to be tempted by food later, which I'm not going to be because I generally am not. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably do, I'm going to try and do more videos, I really need to, because when I do more videos, I'm more motivated, and I just, oh my knee, my leg is starting to hurt, um, so even if it's, I'm just making them, I'm not actually uploading them, and I just find it so annoying on this phone, I need to... My dad needs to come off holiday because he got married yesterday and he's on his honeymoon obviously right now um, for the next three weeks. But my laptop needs fixing and his friend is going to fix it for me. But I need my dad to give it to him. So um, I want to be able to make videos on that because it's a notebook. And is it a notebook? It's a netbook. I think it's a notebook. It's a notebook and it's got a webcam, it's got like an editing system thing on it. So I'll be able to upload and edit and I'll just do all my videos like on the camera because the camera's a lot better quality than this camera. I've, I've, you can kind of see the screen because it's sort of cracked up. So you can see the screen but I can't see the screen enough to be able to edit properly, which does my head in. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let you go. <laughs> And I don't think there's anything else I needed to tell you. Um, any advice on my hair would be lovely. Um, and anything, anything, any requests of anything you want me to do, because I'm a bit unsure of what to do. If there's any like videos that anyone wants me to do, or anything like that, or questions you want to ask me, and I'll answer them or something. Um, yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get ready. I'm probably gonna make something to eat. I'm gonna go out soon, and hopefully, I'm not gonna drink too much. And hopefully, I won't use too many sins because I want a really good week this week, and I want you to kick ass and just start burning this blubber, melting it away from my body. Um, yeah. So, three more stone, which I want off by 
I would like to be at Target. This is going to sound really odd, but in 2015, I would like to be at Target. Um, and obviously, that's, that's like a year and a half away, really, now. And I know people think that's such a long time for a Target, but it's a realistic Target. I feel like if I set myself targets, though, or goals, I don't... If I don't hit them, it sort of unmotivates me. So I think I'm just not going to set them anymore. I've got, like, items of clothes that I really want to wear. Like, I've got a pair of shorts that I want to get into. They're a size 12. And I've got some dresses that I want to start wearing. I've sort of brought stuff in sizes that I want to be. So, yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to sort something out. And I'm going to I'm gonna go get ready. I'm going to... Do I get this ass ready to do stuff? I'm not sure what to do in my hair. It's in that annoying thing of like, it's not curly, it's not wavy, it's just like, meh, meh. But anyway, so I'll see you soon. Bye!